Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Welcome to Chris's Talking, and this is my review for the Naruto Shippuden anime, episode 458. First of all, thank you very much for watching this video. Um, I know I could have done reviews for the previous anime episodes, but I didn't think it'd be right for me to be doing reviews on the fillers, especially as most people know what was going on, and the fillers were literally kind of like a fillerception where it goes into the dreams of the dreams of the dreams of what's going on in the dreams and make a whole series about that and I was like I'm not really about that so I literally kind of left that especially as I'm, I'm a manga reader so it kind of just felt pointless and with my channel being new and stuff I believe what well, I personally thought that'd be best for me to come in once the fillers are done and the stories continue on from the original plot that being said it started yesterday or the day before yesterday i'm not really too sure and it's continuing finally from episode 458 and madara has still got the whole shinobi alliance in the infinite Tsukuyomi, and they are pretty much fucked exactly where we were left last year god knows when this was but exactly where we left a long time ago naruto sasuke they're still trying to fend him off trying to fight him off and madara is basically just explained to naruto look this is the real ideal there is no other way for the humans and shinobis to to get along. There will always be a war, there will always be fights, Hashirama, Hashirama tried his best. Obviously it means shit, like war after war after war. And he even like, what I thought was really hilarious is he even like mentioned, okay, I'm gonna say yes, I did start the fourth war, but this is just proof. So that was pretty hilarious. I did kind of get a little chuckle from that. But yeah, so, um, Madara is pretty much going on kind of letting Naruto and the rest of the people know that he's not really the ultimate bad guy they've tried the good way the Hashirama way the Naruto way the ninja way believe it that way and time after time they've it's been proof that it's not gonna work so Madara just tried his crazy way which is technically he's right by what he said I guess weirdly right yeah he did use people as puppets and stuff like that but in his own mind's eye he thought that he was doing the right thing that being said suddenly boom straight through his chest you have the black zetsu just basically making him realize that you're the bitch basically no you are not in control you think that you've been doing the right thing no 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 there is somebody who's above you you are still the puppet and that's madness because it's not like the uh, shinobi alliance had any any hope from obito not even from madara but from obito like no, not even from them, right from, from from years ago, from the Akatsuki, like, they've had no chance. If it wasn't for these arse pools powers that Naruto has been getting, obviously I'm a manga reader so I know what's going on, but from watching it, every time there's a new bad guy who's stronger, who's stronger, who's stronger, and they're just about surviving, and they have a new bad guy, I'm thinking, you guys are fucked. And they were pretty much fucked throughout the whole series. When Madara was on the scene, that was it really, they had no hope. He was going around just massacrating, like, just... just just destroying every single person on the field with his bloody boulders and his other boulders again but um, yeah so when somebody tells you that Madara is actually a pawn it's time to realize well step back and realize who is this person who's above Madara who's been using Madara as a puppet now and the anime goes all into like um he starts bubbling up and everything and then uh all the chakra from all the different pods of the humans uh, they're all being sucked out and that's when uh, there's a bit more information about the, inf the infinite Tsukuyomi and Madara he mistranslated it uh, the black Zetsu explains to him that the infinite Tsukuyomi is actually a way to suck in everyone's chakra it's not a way to put everyone in a sleep of peace and bliss and all that kind of stuff so that was pretty cool to see them explain that and Madara's face was like what the hell like so um he realizes that he was under control so he feels like a bitch um everyone's pretty much fucked because if they can't handle him <laughs> and Naruto's words were what the hell's up with this chakra it's way stronger than Madara's and from then that's when uh Sasuke uh, sorry, that, that's what, sorry about that. That's when Naruto, Sasuke, and Itachi should have got the fuck out. From then, you see Madara just bubbling up, all the Zetsus, all the chakras all filling him up. Um, he's got in one hand Naruto, in the other hand Sasuke. Not even hands, hair, like strands of hair. This is some crazy shit. I know hair, like hair strands are really strong, but this is some crazy shit. He was holding both of them like calmly, and then the metamorphosis of him turning into, and that being said, Kaguya happens. And Kaguya, she looks pretty badass. Um, 
Unfortunately, because of all the fillers and because of the opening giving it away that there was going to be somebody above Madara um, and also in the games, like the narrative Ninja Storm games, you, they pretty much let you know that there was going to be somebody else and most hardcore narrative fans would have purchased the game and those of my friends have purchased the game so like I'm a manga reader as well so I knew what was going to happen but for people who are anime watchers and uh, play the game that game pretty much spoiled a lot not really like it's their fault but I don't think they were in, like expected to have fillers of this caliber basically fillers of this caliber to be just holding back the anime so much but um it was cool, it ended there. The first half of the episode was uh, Itachi's flashback story thing going on, which is cool, I guess. I mean, it did look sharper and a bit more brighter and clearer, and it's pretty nice seeing Itachi still love Sasuke and everything, but it wasn't needed. That being said, I thought it was a pretty cool episode. Um, I'm pretty excited for next week's episode where hopefully it doesn't do any filler shit. It just goes on and it shows you what's going to happen because as a manga reader, I can tell you some emotional shit is about to happen. And finally, we're, we're starting to get to the bread and butter of the end of the Naruto series. So yeah, um, I'll give this like a seven. I guess like a strong seven because finally it's out of the filler. Uh, Plot progression, story progression, like that's really, that's jumped quite a bit now because we now know Madara is not the last bad guy. So yeah, um, the animation was pretty fluid. It was pretty nice to see like Team 7 back again and Kakashi there. Uh, the Black Zatsu and Wise Zatsu, I liked how they gave more information about themselves. Uh, yeah, so a 7 out of 10 and I'm pretty excited for the next week's episode. If uh, you liked what you saw, do like, subscribe and share. and. I do manga reviews, anime reviews, and random video blogs about movies and trailers and that kind of stuff. So, Chris is talking. Hopefully, see you around. <laughs> Have a good time, guys.